sound, so that's why I like using them the most. So I'm just using a couple knobs here and there. There are a lot of uh, bolts and screws in these mic stands, and you can make so many minor adjustments with them. Uh, it takes quite some patience, actually, as you can see here. I'm uh, installing both of them right now this footage, but uh, I wanted to make this longer and show you the real deal here and what I have to do every single time I set up for a video. And um, I don't like leaving them out in the open because that risks damaging them. So I do like to put away my equipment after I am done using them, which is why I that. <laughs> so I'm just showing you my Sparks microphone, which uh, comes in this lovely orange wooden box. And I am taking out the microphone itself now, and I'm going to show you that. I like to keep it in my plastic and nice and protected and safe there in that uh, cushion, in that box. And I'm telling you, I do this every single time. back in their boxes, and the two things I just showed you now are the um, pop filter and the shock mount. So right now I'm adjusting the shock mount on the mic stand, and the shock mount, what it does is if you happen to, let's say, um, have some interference going on beneath you, the shock mount would stabilize the microphone so that the sound interference just act as a trampoline and hold the microphone in place while the interference is occurring and it would just bounce right back up like let's say if god forbid an earthquake were to happen um, it would just continue to bounce in its own position and be balanced and not make a lot of noise from the interference below it so that's the point and these mic stands are also really good for holding up those mics for when I stand up, let's say, because I used to do my videos sitting down a lot, and actually right now I do make videos standing up quite often, because I did get quite tired and annoyed of having to have numb and sore feet after being done filming, so a lot of times I do stand up now, and uh, I learned those things to observing several ways, smart and suit do the same. <laughs> but um, with standing up, you also have to do a bit of extra work there with uh, adjusting the stance and everything. It's not that simple as it seems, because a lot of times you just watch the artist perform. Let's say even if it's against a blank wall, like I'm doing right now in my living room, but in order to perform, you have to have your setup. If you just use the audio from your camera, that is going to sound terrible and you're going to have a lot of white noise. So I do like using these mics along with the other mics, which I'll show in a little bit here. But again, I'm just adjusting the same thing that I've been doing on the other stand. And it is very difficult to get the precise location of both mics to be the same. I just like to make a guesstimate and um, put them in a familiar position on both sides to make it as equivalent to the left ear and the right ear, but if I can't get that, it's still okay because it sounds exactly the same, and it's very hard to tell that they're different or not different or anything like that, and you can tell I'm having balancing problems because the higher you put the microphone, the fall, the longer they can fall, so you have to be careful with that, um, and make sure everything's balanced and properly proportionate, and so that you don't have trouble and problems later on. Uh, especially while filming, I do happen to bump into my stands a lot, so I also want to measure and uh, place them in a position where I won't have any dilemmas with that later on, because uh, sometimes you do hear interference where I bump into the stand itself. Uh, not the microphones, shock mount, and that's a different story because that you can't avoid. And there I am being 
silly. Um, but uh, my point is, I do have to position where my feet won't bump into them all the time because that can be very, very irritating on the other hand. So right now I'm just showing you my 3DO Free Space Pro microphone.
and lighting is very, very urgent in ASMR videos. It cannot be too dark. It cannot be too light. There has to be sort of a balance. So, I'm going to show you today how I achieve my perfect lighting. So, first of all, it is way too bright in here from the window side and not enough from the kitchen side. So I kind of, if you notice, I have a sort of a diminished balance between my face. On this side it's dark and this side is bright. So in order to fix that, I hope this is signed. I have to get these umbrella lights fixed first and then I'm going to close those shutters on that side. So the lighting And I grab these two, and these hold the lights. Do the same on the other side. Once I get this mounted, That's said and done. I grab both of my umbrella lights, umbrellas, fan them out. same on the other side. And I'm to close again. And I grab my handy dandy X 
extension cord and turn it on and plug everything in. Then I simply switch the lights on in the back and it will now light everything up nicely. And I'm going to close those shutters now just to be sure. Close those shutters. It should look nicer and more complete. And I'm going to get the camera a little bit closer now. Just so you can see how it looks when everything is set up and complete. Hello, my name is Tony Bomboni and this is your ASMR video. So you can see the lighting is even and complete on both sides. But now I'm going to show you one thing. And that is my green screen. It is simply this lime green colored cloth. You can get fabric to anywhere. And I just mount it up, but I'm not going to show you how because that's a secret and I don't want to share all my secrets today. I am now showing you how to set up my Targis tripod, which, no joke, I have been using since the beginning of my channel and even on my older channels. So this has got or changing it whatsoever. So, uh, with that said, I am just elongating it again with multiple tiles and knobs here and there, twisting and turning. And there is the knob for the camera to go up, down, left, right, all around, all about, like a merry-go-round. <laughs> and um, even sideways. But um, besides that, since this tripod, I think, originally came in a purchase with a very old camera that my parents bought, uh, I ended up taking ownership of this tripod, and I've been using it ever since, and it is still not broken. No parts of it whatsoever are torn apart or scratched or tattered. It is very good, and I've been taking good care of it, even though I've dropped it numerous times. <laughs> But um, it's very durable, and I wish I knew the real name of it, but I don't know it. It says somewhere on there, but I've never been able to find an exact replica ever since, because it did become in a purchase with the camera. So I just showed you how to install the camera onto the tripod itself, and how it looked from there. And now I'm showing you my whole setup of the equipment after I'm all done, and that's how it looks on a pretty average day of ASMR video making, uh, besides when I'm actually adding some extra props here and there. Uh, but now I'm just showing you typically how it goes. After I film a video, I would transfer the audio files from my Zoom mic, which holds all the audio. And then once they're on my laptop, I just browse through this is my videos folder where I keep all of the video files and the audio files that I transfer onto all safe and merged into one location so I don't forget or get them lost in the system. And this is my documents folder where all my completed videos and Microsoft Word files are. And this is the video editor which I use to edit my YouTube clips. This was a clip that um, is never going to be released. Um, this was supposed to go in um, something and I won't say what, but uh, maybe you'll see it one day when I'm famous and on TV. <laughs> anyway, um, so this is the Microsoft Word 2016, which I use to edit my title, description, and tags in my videos. And here's the upload page after all that is said and done, and I do all that, and then I upload the YouTube video, and it takes forever because of my connection here. <laughs> And also, don't forget, I do put makeup on my face, and that can take uh, about half an hour to an hour alone. So I also have to do that before I film my video. 
videos and there's a script. Typically I like to write a script or generally what I want to say or do in videos so I don't forget. And it takes a lot of time, so keep in mind. So that's it. This is my ASMR video setup and I hope you learned something out of it. Thank you very much for watching Boopsies and I'll see you guys in the next video. Best of luck to you, whoever you are. You may want to try this out for yourself and pursue a career in filmmaking or something similar. So, I hope this helped. I have a list in the description of all the equipment I use and also in the about section of my channel.